Knox County has already seen 145 suspected overdose deaths this year. The district attorney general's office says that includes 15 in the month of July. Last year, there were almost 300 suspected OD deaths in Knox County. Now today, hundreds of people attended a two day summit about the opioid crisis at the University of Tennessee and 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with experts there about some potential solutions. The speakers today all had a similar message. We're losing too many people to the opioid crisis and without working together, it'll only get worse. My heart is broken because there's too many people out there that need help. Six years ago, Jan Clift was shot in the head while working at her pharmacy job. There was four of us in there and uh, he killed the two gentlemen in there. The shooter was an addict and caused Jan years of PTSD. He also made her passionate about the opioid crisis. So many people want help, they don't know where to go or where to turn. She's one of about 500 people who came to the summit for opioid addiction in response Thursday at UT. We've convened people that are passionate about solving this problem from across the state, from Memphis to Jonesboro and every point in between. Here, they shared alarming trends. The TBI says the average life expectancy in Tennessee has decreased for two years straight because of drug overdoses. And the amount of fentanyl submitted to its crime lab skyrocketed from 106 in 2015 to more than 1,200 in 2019. Addiction is a disease, and we need to eliminate the stigma. If we don't do that, it's going to be hard to treat the disease. A disease Jan Clift is determined to cure. We all need help sometimes, so let's be that one that can help them. Tomorrow will feature Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rojero and Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. They're working on a plan to curb addiction in Knox County. Back to you.